What's good, YouTube? Wadok Studios here. Today we're going to go over something a little different. Um, as you know, if you watch my channel, I like Minecraft. I play Java edition of Minecraft. I've played Vivecraft and VR. Um, and my family plays Minecraft. So we're like cross-platform on Minecraft. And the way that you would do that is Bedrock Edition. So consoles, mobile, Windows, etc. Um, and usually, like, in order to do custom shaders, it's pretty involved, right? Um, the way that, you know, and as you see here, I have a custom survival world and I have RTX applied to this world. Um, but the resource management on Bedrock Minecraft is a little different than anything else. But if you want to run a really good RTX pack with nice shaders, um, you can hop over to the marketplace and get one of these packs and then create the world. Now, um, this is going to be a preceded world. It is what it is. But what if you want to take that pack and you want to utilize it as a resource pack across like another world? Well, what you can do is you can jump out to your app data folder like this. And you're going to have two locations that you need to care about. So in your local packages, my, uh, Microsoft Minecraft UWP, local state games, com, dot mojang, resource packs, pack name. So that's a mouthful. Um, this is where your packs are going to be stored that you can apply to anything. Now, if you come into local state, yeah, local state. So I'm going to. Well, I don't really need to copy that. If you And you come to Premium Cache and you go to World Templates, you're going to have a folder that looks like this, a couple of them, depending on how many resource packs you've gotten off the marketplace. If you drill down in them, you can look at the World icon and you can find the pack. What you would do is go into the resource pack in this RPO folder, copy it, come back up to this location, com.mojang, local state game, com.mojang resource packs, pack name, and make you a folder named whatever you want to name it, and paste, well, you could technically paste RPO here and rename it. But that's that's all this is. So you just go into there, and then once, you do, once you've done that, um, and you come to a world, um, and I'm just going to create a new one. I'm just going to name this like, delete me and we'll do peaceful and create it right now so once you've done that you'll start up with like your default resource pack um, but what you can do is you can come to settings and I think I'm gonna have to back out to be able to apply my pack to it yeah um, because you have to basically not be playing when you edit the pack but then you can come in to edit right here, come to resource packs, available, owned, and you should see it right here and you can just activate it. So it essentially becomes a shader pack for Minecraft, uh, Minecraft Bedrock. And then there you go. You end up with RTX, real-time shadows, you know, uh, really cool classic style textures. Um, this is one of my favorites, but this process can be done across any of the RTX marketplace assets. Um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully this is helpful to anyone who uh, enjoys Minecraft like I do and wants to give Bedrock Edition a little bit more flair in a very easy out of the box supported way by just copying a couple files over. Toodles, until next time. Have a great weekend.